Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7 of Create This Book 2 by me and Mariah Elizabeth. Today I'm going to be doing three more page spreads and I'm very excited to see how they turn out. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's see what I can come up with. The first prompt for today is to create a self-portrait. This seems really challenging, and to be completely honest with you, all of the ones in this episode seemed really challenging to me at first, but I just kept pushing through. I really wanted to skip them, but I want to do every single page of this book with you guys, so I attempted to do them anyway. I started off by just sketching out on one side of the page. That way I had just a graphite drawing of a self-portrait or as best as I could do one on the right side of the page. I kind of had a plan from the beginning and that was to make the right side of the page completely black and white, at least the parts of me anyway, and then to make the left side of the page have a little bit more color and to be a little bit different. I wanted it to be a little more visually interesting than just completely graphite pencil on paper. I wanted it to have a little bit more to it. So after I completed this side and shaded it in how I wanted it to look, I moved on to mapping out the left side. I wanted this side to match the other side, but also to be a little bit different. I'm not really sure why that is. I just thought it would be a little more interesting to look at if they weren't exactly the same. So for this side, I used pencil and I also decided to add in some colors. So I made my eyes blue, my lips pink, my hair orangey yellow, because I didn't have like an actual blonde, you know, that's a really hard hair color to make. But anyway, I also decided to add in some lines of shading of various colors just to give it a little more dimension as well. So that way it wasn't just black and white. I felt like these little markings added a lot more to the picture overall and I thought it made a big difference and made it look a little bit cooler. After I had mostly finished the portrait, I decided to focus on the other part of the prompt, which was to make a list of the things that made me me. To do this, I decided to be a little more creative about it, and I decided to draw things in the background of the black and white side of the portrait. That way, that side had some color too, and it had colors of things that I thought could relate to me. So I started off by drawing my cats. They're in the little bottom by my shoulder. And then I did some paint splotches, a paintbrush, a heart. And I also did a little smiley face. I try to be happy. <laughs> and then I also did a couple more paint splotches, mostly just to fill the page. And I liked the way that they were looking. Then I added me and my husband as little stick figures. I thought that was cute. And I also added my family as stick figures as well, so I had to draw everybody out. I have three sisters, so four girls, mom and dad, so that's what I had to do there. And then I just tried to keep thinking of things that made me me, and I wanted the page to be filled with a lot of colorful things and to look full. I didn't want to leave a lot of blank space in the background, so I just kept adding some more color until I decided that it looked completed. After that, it was pretty much finished. So I finally ended it with some more hearts just to fill in all of the spaces and I matched a heart on the other side and then it was completed. So time to move on to the next prompt. The next prompt was also one that I struggled with, which was make your own invention and draw it out on this page. I actually decided to take from my husband's invention for this one. He made a video on his YouTube channel about inventions, and this was one of them, which I think is really fun and cute. It is to make squid condiment bottle covers. So that way, when you squeeze out your condiments, you squeeze them from little squid bottles. So it's a super cute, super fun idea. So I decided to draw that out in the book. 
I did use Posca pens for this one and it did not bleed through the book, which I was impressed with, but it did leave quite a bit of pilling and it was very hard to get a smooth color, but that's okay. I just kept on going with it. And then I decided to add little outlines to this drawing. That way it was a little more detailed and there was a little bit more going on. And I also decided to write the name of the condiment next to the squid bottle. That way I knew what I was doing and he needs a friend, so I decided to make a mustard one as well. Here is the mustard one being completed. I think it turned out pretty cute. It's a super fun idea, super fun invention. It's kind of like zoo pals or whatever, you know, just like animal plates. It's just something that makes life a little bit more fun. So I really enjoyed this one actually and it's challenging for me to come up with things of my own but I really like to draw this idea and I decided to leave myself a little note that way when I look back on this page I remember what I was doing and I drew little arrows that way it added some more to the page. So here's how this one turned out and now it's time for the final prompt which is to create a reminder, write something you should always remember. I had a plan from the get-go for this one. I have my own small business where I sell stickers, so I decided for this to use some of the stickers that I have that are good reminders for us all to remember. So I use this page just to put down some of those stickers that I would like to remember. So refuse to sink is my favorite quote, so I put that one on there. I put don't limit yourself, focus on your goals, you're a peach. I decided to add this butterfly sticker because it's one of my favorites. I added this one, not all who wonder are lost. And I also added some of these flowers just because they're really pretty and I like them. So then I cut off the back end of the flowers because they were hanging off and then the page was completed. I think it's really simple but really cute and I had a lot of fun incorporating past designs that I've made into this book. Here's a look at the first prompt again of my self-portrait. I think it turned out pretty well overall. I don't think it looks anything like me, but it was still a lot of fun to try. And then here is my invention, or more so my husband's invention. And here is my stickers in the form of reminders. Let me know which prompt you guys liked the best in this week. I make new Create This Book episodes every single Tuesday, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know when I post a video. Thank you guys for all of the love on my Create This Book 2 episodes thus far. I really appreciate it and I'm really excited about it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.